relax for a moment and just feel your bodies. And so you guys understand what a release actually is. Uh, and they can get very complex and deep where we're going after deep beliefs or they can be very simple. But the first process in, in releasing is welcoming or allowing or acknowledging or being with a feeling. So just take a moment, sit back and feel your body and notice what it feels like. And um, one of the best things you can do is start learning to feel your body a little bit better, you know? So what does your body feel like right now? Welcome whatever you're feeling. Just notice what, what you're feeling and welcome it or allow it. Whatever word works for you, acknowledge and notice what it feels like. And now welcome any part of your body and your resistance to feeling. I don't want to feel that. I don't like that feeling. I'm feeling nothing there. What's Brian talking about feeling your body? I can't feel anything. So just notice any of those types of thoughts or images that are related to that coming up and welcome that. And sit with that for a moment. Allow that. Acknowledge that. Now welcome any part of your body that feels good. You like feeling, maybe it's your heart's opening and you feel the warmth. Maybe you feel a little turn on in your hips. Maybe you feel the sense of relaxation in a part of your body that just feels so good. And acknowledge that for a moment, even if it's only 1% or 2%. And just notice what that feels like. Good, good. Now welcome any part of your body you're in resistance to again. You don't want to feel. And notice the resistance. Sit with the resistance for a moment. Notice the nature of the thoughts and the resistance or the images that are coming up. Notice how it feels. Is it heavy? Is there nothingness? Nothing is a feeling, you know. Just sit with that for a moment. And now move back and feel any part of your body that feels good, that you like feeling. And just sit with that for a moment, even if it's small. And let yourself just dissolve into that. Notice any thoughts that might be there. Oh, this feels good. This feels nice. This feels relaxing. Notice any images that might be being created. Notice the quality of the sensations. And just be with that for a moment. Now go back to the resistance for a minute. Welcome that resistance. Wherever there's resistance in your body, I don't care if it's your little toe. Just feel what that feels like. The thoughts, the images. And now notice if there's any sense of aversion, wanting to look away, not wanting to feel this, or any sense of I have to feel this, I need to feel this, I need to get this right. And just welcome that for a minute. And notice the nature of needing and wanting and chasing and trying to get it right. Having to or avoiding, wanting to avoid. Because wanting to avoid is, is just another want. It's a want to avoid. Now go back to the good feeling and just relax into any part of your body that feels good. And allow yourself to feel that. Notice how good it can feel. And notice if there's any wanting coming on with that. Like, I want to feel more of it. I got to get better at this. And just watch that if there is. And notice the thoughts and the emotions that are coming up with that. Now go back to the resistance again. And noticing one more time all the, I should feel this, I need to feel this, I don't want to feel this, whatever thoughts are happening in your mind, any resistance, any stuckness, just be with that for a moment. And now one more time, roll back to the good feeling and relax into it again, any part of your body that feels good. And notice the thoughts and the images that come with that. The sensations. Good, 
Now I want you to welcome an image of an attractive woman in your mind that you would want to date. Imagine she's in the room with you, not in your mind, but in the little room you're in right now, in the space you're in. She could be sitting next to you. She could be standing in front of you. She could be walking right by you and stopping and looking at you. And again, I want you to welcome the sensations in your body as you look at her. And again, welcome any sense of resistance any sense of not wanting to feel as you look right at her and she looks right at you. Where do you feel that in the body? And just sit with that for a moment. And just experience it as you look at her and as she looks at you. Notice the thoughts and the feelings and the emotions, the images that come with that. I can't do it, I wanna turn away, or she wouldn't like me. Just watch that stuff flow. Get a little perspective and imagine you could float a little farther up above yourself and just watch yourself have those thoughts looking at the woman. Watch the resistance or the numbness or the nothingness, if it's nothingness, because nothing is a feeling. Just be with that. Now I want you to look at her and I want you to shift over to the good feelings. As you look at her right now, she's standing there, imagine she's 3D right in front of you. Some people can even open their eyes and do this, I can. I love to open my eyes to bring it right into this physical world and see her right, right there. What good feelings do you have in your body? Can you feel your feet? Can you feel your turn on? Can you enjoy something about her like her smile or her eyes? What part of your body relaxes or gets kind of maybe excited in a good way? What are the images you get? And just step back and watch that from a distance as much as you do. Now one more time, go back to the resistance you have to this beautiful woman and notice what that feels like. Feel that resistance as much as you do. Notice the thoughts and the emotions and the images that are coming up. And even nothingness is an emotion, the way I look at it. And imagine as you're feeling that discomfort, can you step forward? Can you step into it a little more and let it intensify? Or does it just numb out as you step forward? If it numbs out, you can take a step back and keep looking at her. She can keep looking at you. But if you can step forward, because you get an intensification, you can really feel it in your body now. Just allow that to happen. Just be with her for a moment. What's her facial expression like? What are you, how is she reacting to you looking at her while she looks at you? Now, Move one more time back to the good feeling. What does it feel like? Even if it's only 1% to feel good in your body while you look at her. As you relax into that part of your body, can you enjoy her? Maybe it's a twinkle in her eyes. Maybe it's some flowing dress she's wearing or a smile. Maybe it's the perfume she's, she's wearing. And you can just really appreciate it. It kind of opens you up as you look at her. And as you start to relax into your body more, does the way she uh, looks at you, does the way she feels in front of you change? As you start to acknowledge the good feeling, do you feel a sense of relaxation as you relax, come over her more? Do you feel like you can step closer to her? If you can, take that step. If you want to step back, step back. Adjust until you can really get in tune with what you're feeling and the vibration of it. Just get comfortable with it. Just notice what it looks like, what it feels like, what are the images. Now this time, I want you to say hi. 
just say the word hi or hello and smile at her. And notice what she says back. Allow her to say whatever, whatever comes up, whatever your mind of unconscious brings up. And just feel that. Notice what that feels like. Notice any part of yourself that goes into resistance, that tightens or shuts off or numbs out. And just welcome that for a little bit. This is all about welcoming, getting comfortable with the reactions in your body, good or bad. So just welcome whatever comes up. Feel those words high. Feel her response. And any part of yourself that's in resistance or shutting down, just be with it for a moment. That's saying no or making negative images or causing the image of this woman to be negative. And just allow that to run and watch it. Step back a little farther from yourself and just watch yourself have these experiences. And now one more time, roll over to the good side. What part of your body as you say hi feels good? Feels the words come off your mouth and you're proud of yourself for saying it or maybe... It just feels really good to, to say it and she receives it well, or maybe you're just proud that you said it, period. And you're looking at her and there's this sense of relaxation in some part of your body. Notice what that feels like. Notice her reaction to this good feeling inside your body. How does this image react to you? And just be with that for a moment. And just welcome that, whatever it is. I don't care if it's 1% or 100% or one one thousandth of a percent. Just be with it. And notice what it feels like. Enjoy it as much as you can. Allow the beauty of the moment, even if it's microscopic or huge, to just rest in your nervous system. Imagine that beauty could rest in all the cells of your body. And you could just relax and look at her and enjoy her. And then she could look at you. And then while you're relaxing one more time, say hi. Or any other words you want to say. And just notice the response. And let go of any wanting to get a specific response, needing, whatever the response is. Can you just let it be? Do you just enjoy it for what it is? Good or bad in perception doesn't really matter because there is no good and bad. Just let it be. If you can truly let it be, all of it might be left is curiosity. Appreciation, maybe. Because you won't need her to be a specific way to make you happy. Now one more time, roll over to the dark side. The part of your body that's in resistance, that's heavier. It's saying no, it's maybe creating a rough internal image. And notice what that feels like again. What part of your body is in resistance as you say hi to her again? Or whatever words you want to say. Just be with that for a moment. Be with the image in front of you. Allow the resistance to flow, allow it to intensify. If you can, step in. And just feel that intensification. Just notice you can handle it. You can be there with it. You can relax into it. And then you can step into it more. Good, now let that go one more time. Just go back over to the good side. Say hi again. And relax into any part of your body that feels good as you say hi or whatever word you want to say. And notice how that feels as you look at this beautiful woman in front of you. And as you say hi, what do you enjoy about her? Just notice it. You don't have to say it, just notice. Eyes, smile, dress, her body, the way she looks, the way she flows, her turn on. Just notice whatever allows you to just relax into it. And just be with it. Beautiful. Now just let it all go. Say, give the image 
whatever you feel comfortable, a hi, a goodbye, a hug. If you want, you can get her phone number in your mind. Whatever feels good. And then just let it go. Let it float off. You always want to let go. Because as you let things go, you actually, uh, it's kind of like chasing something. If you chase something, it runs away. And if you let it go, it often will come back. Um, it's like a cell signal on a phone. If you don't allow the cell signal to leave the phone, it can't go out there and communicate with the right people, places, and things to help create a better reality for you or, or make a call. In this case, create a better reality where maybe you'll have this experience of a woman walking up and you saying hi and everything going really well. Because in this, you're releasing all the attachment and the aversion. You're welcoming the aversion, getting over it, getting over the fear of looking at her. You're also welcoming all the uh, the good feelings and getting over the, the, the attachment to them. They've got to happen this way or they got to happen that way. You're learning to let things flow.